assessment. The official was accompanied by Alana Armitage, United Nations Population Fund representative in Mexico and country director for Cuba and the Dominican Republic. Both will have an extensive work agenda, including a high-level meeting for the presentation of policies for the care of children, adolescents and youth, demographic dynamics and the human development, equity and social justice macro program. According to a note from the main text, the visit will make it possible to thank the support offered by the United Nations Population Fund in confronting COVID-19 and to reaffirm Cuba's political will and its full commitment to the plan of action of the Cuba International Conference on Population and Development, 1994, the Nairobi Summit, the Multivision Consensus and the 2003 Agenda on Sustainable Development. The United Nations Population Fund is the United Nations Agency in charge of sexual and reproductive health created in 1969, the same year the General Assembly declared that parents have an exclusive right to fully and responsibly determine the number and spacing of their children. And that's it. All the time we have for our first hour here on Radio Havana Cuba. But that's okay. We slide right into hour two. La Fondo Raso. Stay with us. Don't touch that dial. Just uh, sit back, relax, and let happen. We'll be here with you for our second hour. More great stuff for you here on the radio. Oh, check us out tomorrow. We're here seven days a week. And you can listen to us tomorrow here, too. Because tomorrow is Thursday, believe it or not, already. We have Cuba Today with Christina Escobar. Roberto Bastidas is here. He brings us uh, another one of his interview programs with Be My Guest. That's on every Thursday here on Radio Manic Cuban. Roberto will be here with a special with uh, Fernando Gonzalez, the president of ACAP, uh, addressing a very important solidarity meeting earlier this week. That'll be his guest on Be My Guest tomorrow on Thursday. Natalie Howard will have the front seat. Her weekly program is during the second hour. notas de nuestro himno nacional, Radio Habana Cuba reinicia su programación en idioma español dirigida hacia Norte, Centro, Suramérica y el área del Caribe por las siguientes bandas y frecuencias de la onda corta. Desde las 11 y hasta las 13 horas UTC transmitiremos en la banda de 49 metros por 6100 kilohertz. Desde las 11 y hasta las 14 horas UTC Transmitiremos en la banda de 22 metros por 13.740 kHz, en la banda de 30 metros por 9.710 kHz. Desde las 12 y hasta las 15 horas UTC, transmitiremos en la banda de 22 metros por 13.700 kHz. En La Habana nos pueden sintonizar en frecuencia modulada por los 102.5 MHz. Y en las provincias de Artemisa, Mayabete y Pinar del Río, por los 103.1 MHz. En la Isla de la Juventud nos pueden sintonizar por los 91.7 MHz. En estas frecuencias transmitimos las 24 horas del día. Nuestra señal se transmite además en tiempo real por medio del portal en la Internet www.radiocc.com.
buenos días tengan todos ustedes, amigos y amigas, que hasta ahora están en nuestra sintonía. En el aire, despertar con Cuba. La revista informativa de las mañanas de Radio Adana Cuba, correspondiente a este jueves 5 de mayo de 2022. Sean todos bienvenidos a esta edición informativa hasta las 10 de la mañana. 